second. A rate of change is the change in one variable relative to the other, so in relation to the other. So if I have a table and I just write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What's the rate of change? What's, what are the first differences here? Uh, for the y values, the first difference is 5. Good. Okay. First differences, we're looking at the difference between these consecutive values. So we have 10 take away 5, 15 take away 10, 20 take away 15, and 25 take away 20. We know that the first differences are all 5, which means that the rate of change would also be... Five. Right. The rate at which this is changing is by 5. For every increase of 1, it changes by 5, right? Okay, so we can also look at 1 take away 0 is 1. We know that this is increasing by 1 every time. What happens when I, ch I make this increase by something else? So let's look at a different example. Let's say we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and I have... 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And if I ask you now, what's the rate of change? Well, the rate we just talked about is the change in one variable relative to the other. Okay? So first, how is the how are the y values changing? Uh, the y values change by 4 each time. Good. And what do the x values change by? 2. So what would be the rate of change? If this is changing by 4 and this is changing by 2, what's the rate at which it's changing? Let's say for every 2 hours, you earn $4, right? That's what, this is what the table shows. For every 2 hours, you're earning $4. What's your rate of pay? What's the rate at which you're getting paid? If you're earning $4. Uh, $2 an hour. Good. How did you get that? I divided it two by, I mean, yeah, I divided two by two. Four divided by two, right? Which means you're making $2 per hour. So the rate is per one. Okay? You always want to look at the rate at which each variable is changing by. So your y value was changing by six, okay? Each time we see an increase of six. And your x variable was changing by 2. And your rate of change is relative to one another. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. Good. So this would be a rate of change of 3. What is our y value changing by? So uh, it's changing drug. by 2. Good. So we have... Two minus zero, right? Which is two. And what is the x value changing by? It's decreasing by one. Right. So we would actually do four take away five, which is negative one. Okay? And remember, to find the rate, we divide. What's two divided by negative one? A positive divided by negative would give you a negative. Good. What's two divided by one? So this has a rate of negative 2. It's decreasing. And let's check again. 4 take away 2 divided by 3 take away 4. 2 over negative 1. And again, we get negative 2. And for each change in variables, we'll get negative 2. Therefore, we know this relation has to be linear because it's increasing and decreasing by the same amount every time. Looking at our change in the y values, we know that it's increasing by 10 and our x values are increasing by 3. We take our y values divided by our x values and that will give us our rate, which if we simplify this to a decimal, it's going to be 3.3 repeating. Okay, what about b? For the second question, if we were to put this in a table, we're looking at um, minutes, right, time and words typed. So if he types 200 words in 5 minutes, 200 
divided by 5, which is 40 words per minute. You're looking at the change. If I put a 0 here, 0 minutes, 0 words, right? This is changing by 200. This is changing by 5. Okay, it's increasing by 200 for every 5 minutes. So for 10 minutes, how many words would he type? Uh, 400. Exactly, good. And again, increasing by 200 and 5. 200 over 5 or 200 divided by 5 is 40 words per minute. Made with DoodleCast Pro.